Good afternoon, Principal Kerr, our whole staff, coaches, parents, friends, and fellow graduates. Class of 2011, high school is over. As my friend and fellow graduate just said, these last years have been full of great things. But our times here were not always perfect. I can tell you that a good number of this class originally did not want to go to Babylon High School when they finished school. But I can also tell you that this class completed high school in this place. And in the end, both cannot see themselves graduating from any other high school. We have witnessed a change in Balboa, and our class was in the midst of it all. When we were accepted to, into this school, this place did not have the best reputation. But now, we have an incoming freshman lining up at the door. Class of 2011, be grateful we were able to witness this amazing change and carry on that Buccaneer pride. Along with those things, remember the relationship that you have created. I recall a teacher that many of us had, Mr. Wilcox. <laughs> Mr. Wilcox teaches literature, but his real goal was to teach us how to think. By showing us a new way to look at this world, training us to ask questions, and sharpening our views, he gave us the help we will need to live in this complex world. But he was not the only one who has played this role for me. I am grateful for friends, coaches, and other teachers that have supported and corrected me. Here at Balboa, we are more than just a school. We have become a family. We have gotten to know teachers, coaches, and even security guards down at a personal level. Graduates, look at your friends around you. These are the people that have journeyed with you throughout high school, and for some, much longer. If it were not for them, we would not be who we are today. Let us never forget the rich and fun time we have spent together. I'll never forget getting lost in the hallways during freshman year, for the success and heartbreak of our many sports teams in the championship. But when we leave today, we may not see our classmates for a long time or possibly ever again. Class of 2011, let us have the courage to reconcile with, these, with those with whom we hold precious against. And with those going away for college, do the same with your parents and family. We have been through a lot of that so we need to leave on a positive note. We need to take what we have learned here and bring it with us when we enter the world. We are living in changing and challenging times. Our economy is in deep recession, and our country is preoccupied with war. We are entering an environment that is becoming increasingly competitive and harsh, especially in jobs and education. After we walk through those two doors, we are going to enter that system, that system that puts us against each other. We have watched loved ones lose jobs, friends whose homes to foreclosure. Let's not make the person next to us barely an obstacle to go around. Have the courage not to dehumanize somebody to rise above. So let's learn to bring what we have so we can progress as a community. Here at Balboa, we did not make our fellow students competitors. We saw each other as friends and family. We brought each other up, so let's take that to the world. If we want to change the world, we need to start with ourselves. Even if we do not cure cancer or fix global warming, it does not mean we can't change this world. Whatever we do in our lifetime, let's do it with dignity and honesty. This world is more modest and caring people than it needs solutions to its problems. If we can change the way we live to resist the temptation of greed and corruption, then the world can change. Start small. Start with the daily interaction we have with friends, family, co-workers, and everyone we cross paths with. Have the courage to learn to respect others and be aware that there are people around you. Simply say please to a neighbor and thank you to a cashier. Show that you care for the people around you. Change starts small. Friends, 
Let's leave that law as people who have a sense of dignity and who can take responsibility for our thoughts and actions. As a scholar of God, he once said, with courage you will dare to take risks, have the strength to be compassionate, and the wisdom to be humble. Courage is the foundation of integrity. And so, have courage. Class of 2011, we did it. Thank you.